Those are your first eight girls for their semifinal, getting loaded up into the gates. And again, you have a very stacked first motor. You're gonna have Elise Post, Amanda Carr, Megali Potier, Mano Valentino, Caroline Buchanan, Yana Horakova, Vilma Remsite, and Gabriela Diaz. So what's interesting too is being able to get up close and personal. Martin Sherpin stopped by and he said, what can he say? He had a good first straight, but he wasn't aggressive enough, wasn't able to get on the inside. And that was the difference of him moving on in the day's program. So we'll see how things go. So let's go through here. We got some more questions. You know, we have people here on hand and the questions keep coming in. Uh, we wanted, people want to know what about airborne Ariel Martin? Well, you will see her in semi number two. So you can catch her on, catch her live. And the fans, 5 a.m. in New Zealand, they have joined this racing, as well as City of Bicycles BMX racing team. That's uh, Connor Fields' hometown bike shop. That's where the pro Connor Fields gets his wheels built. Okay. So gets his actual bike built, because up until about six months ago, he didn't really know how to build it. I had to give him a lesson, but he took it to City of Bikes. So that. you gave him a lesson. Well, I think his dad did it. I just told I, my lesson. Yeah, Mike, Mike would give my, him a lesson. My <laughs> lesson. Here's my lesson to Connor Fields. I'm not building your bike, so you better figure it out. And that was about it. And, you know, he was able to put his front wheel on, so. But, you know, even if he doesn't know how to build a bike, he sure knows how to ride one. Yeah, so he, he sure does ride It doesn't fast. even matter. So speaking of fast, like, Samantha has said we're getting ready for the semi-finals here. Randenburg, Norway. It's it's I'm feeling the pressure because I mean this is the heart this is the true heartbreak round. You get top four here, you're in the main event, you've done your job. That's the number one priority for riders to be in the main event. So as we get ready, you'll see the riders who are in this main event. You know, like I mean in the semi-final, like I said, your job is to get in that semi into the main event. You can't do that without getting top four in the semi. You can't win without being in the main. So as we get ready, here's the start list for heat one, the first semi-final of today's action. It's gonna be the elite women. They're loaded in the gate. You'll see right there, that's Yana Horakova from the Czech Republic. She's been an impressive rider as well as right here from Lithuania, Stella Rinse. And next to her is the up-and-coming Amanda Carr. Beside her is Caroline Buchanan, who's been racing very well today. And then probably the oldest rider in the girls' class, Gabriela Diaz. And one of the youngest right next to her, Alan Valentino. And then an impressive rider, one first stop, Maggie Fortier from France with Elise Post. Another incredible comeback story from a huge injury last year. And she's putting her bid in for the Olympic spot because the women's spell, they have four really fast girls from the United States. They're probably only going to be able to take two. Right now, we're taking four to the main event. And if you want to have a shot at BMX Superstardom, that's where you need to be. So as they are ready, nerves are gone. The butterflies are there. The focus is on. And here goes the gate call for the semifinal number one. And as that gate drops, you see Megali gets that first pop out, but it's Elise Post right beside her. But as you can see, Caroline Buchanan coming from lane five, going to the first turn, it will be Pontier. Elise Post and Caroline in that third position. Yeah, Pontier has the lead with Elise Post in second. It was a little bit hairy in that first turn. And now Caroline Buchanan is getting some action from Amanda Carr. So that's going to be a big battle right there for that fourth place spot. Right now, it looks like Buchanan's got a slight edge on it. But you never know if she gets caught up in Rift State here in the last turn. But as they're coming out of the turn, it looked like it's going to be Portier, Hose, Rimside, and Caroline Buchanan. There's half of your elite women's main event for today. As they are the four fastest girls from that semifinal. The top four look excited, especially fifth place is definitely not feeling the excitement that we saw out of the other girls. No, but, you can see here that something happened in that first turn. Yeah, I think it oh, was. Collision. Yeah, it was uh, Ribsade hit the, hit Kornikova. Actually, no, it was the French girl at Valentino that went down. So it's unfortunate she, Cora Cobra was rolled over. Gabrielle Diaz wasn't able to get out of the gate. She might have clipped out, so she just kind of rolled around. So there was your top four. And that's, you know, like you said, pretty crazy to see. Portier, Post, Rimsight, Buchanan move on. Unfortunately for Carr, Diaz, Cora Cobra, and Valentino. 
Aquino. The luck just hasn't been with her after she won that opening round in 2011 in South Africa. Anna Valentino's found herself on this round quite too many times. I know more than she wants, but she looks to be okay. But she's being wheeled off. You know, it's nothing that you ever want to see. I'm just glad to see that she's able to get off the track on her own, on her own power. As we get ready for heat number two, I know Todd Crane's viewing, another super fan BMX dad, he tweeted in, and here you go, Todd, you get to watch your daughter hopefully be able to beat some of these riders, but one rider who looks all the power that she has and all the determination is Melinda McLeod in gate eight. And beside her is another Czech girl, Aneta Harakova. Beside her is Leticia Le Coffier from France, number 22. She was, act she was the 2008 silver medalist. Oh, there are the eyes of intensity. It's going to be Ariel Arn from the United States of America. Throws a little smile for her fans. But Romano Lomakova gives a big fan wave to the Czech Republic. Someone who's focused and, and was third place at stop number one from Florida in the United States, Amanda Giving. And there is it's that patented Sarah smile. Out of New Sarah Walker, Zealand. no matter what time of the day it is, she's always happy to be around. Oh, and there it is, Todd. There it is your pride and joy. The pride and joy of America. Brooke Crane in gate one. Semi number two for the elite women loaded into the gate. So we'll see how things turn out for these women as they want to be the other four pieces of the puzzle, which is the elite women's main event. And as we get ready for the gate call, you can hear that the crowd has silenced anticipation to hear the skate slam and the power go down. And it is Walker with the pop crane right beside her. Amanda's giving, getting a little squirrely over that first jump, but it's actually Leticia Lecoquier from the outside into the first corner first, out first, and Ariel Martin in that second position followed closely by Sarah Walker. Yeah, it looked like Brooke Crane was shoved a little bit on the white line, and it looked like Amanda Gevin went down, but what's going down now is Leticia Lee Cargillo and Amanda uh, Ariel Martin with a one and two. Sarah Walker in that third place spot, and there's going to be a battle for that fourth place spot, and it's going to be between McLeod and Brooke Crane. Who's going to make it? I think it's going to be McLeod, unfortunately, for the U.S. fans, and it is. She's just going to edge out. This is Lee Cargay, Martin, Walker, and McLeod making their way on the main. Unfortunately for Crane, Holokova, other riders the day is done and that's not where you want to be like you said but that's how it goes sometimes but there are you there as you see right here watch on the inside sarah walker got out and look right here uh Brooke Crane got a little bit sideways she was on that white line so she was con concerned about going off the track she had a good line here but unfortunately she saw Ariel. they bumped i think she bumped with sarah walker when she came out ariel was kind of uh, i mean uh, sarah walker was ping-ponging off the two u.s girls but she made the main as well as Ariel Martin. And there are your top four, Leticia Le Ariel Martin, Sarah Walker, and Melinda McLeod. They will join Portier, Post, Rimsate, and Buchanan in the main event for the women. And now we will move on to, I'm sure, two incredibly stacked semifinals for the men. I mean, this is where it gets hairy for the pros. And uh, they're loaded in the gate, but I believe we're gonna have a quick interview. And I believe it's going to be Ariel Martin from the United States. She's going to tell us how it was in that race to get through it and make her way into that main event. Ariel Martin, uh, a second place there in the semi final form, looking good going into the finals this afternoon. Well done. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Very nice to be racing here in Norway. We've seen uh, the USA train in your heats earlier on yourself and giving and uh, Brooke looking so good, but you're the one that's going through to the final. Yeah, you know, it was disappointing. It'd, it'd be cool if we were all in there, but uh, we got a lot of great girls in the States right now. There's a lot of depth and I'm proud to be considered among them. Exciting to be racing here in Norway after Chile Vista two weeks ago. Yeah, it's awesome here. I, I didn't really know what to expect coming in, but I absolutely adore this country. All right, there you go, Ariel Martin. Good luck for your finals. Thanks for your time. So there you got some inside information from Ariel Martin. And now the information you want to know is who is in this men's semi? Well, there you go. There is the start list. It is completely stacked. It's ridiculous. So be ready to be on the edge of your seat. I know I am on my beautifully 
fur-lined Viking-inspired <laughs> production booth throne with the Viking goddess herself, oh, Samantha right Hill. And speaking of gods, to some, it's going to be Kaylin Young from Australia, Ernesto Cazaro from Argentina. That's the first time I believe he's been in the semifinal. And Rihard Biaude from Latvia. Beside him, you have Mike Day with that Red Bull helmet, who has been helping him with the flying today. The Raymond Vandervies is wearing those Oakley goggles, Liat neck brace, and Troy Lee helmet. Next to Ryan Kirkham, that hot up and comer from Australia. Next to him, his Aussie country mate, Sam Willoughby, doing it for Fredline and the hottest rider on the circuit as of right now. Let's see if he can continue going. Yesterday's winner of the super final time trial, Connor Fields. Let's see, they're loaded, the crowd's quiet. We'll keep the action flowing. And that gate drops, Samantha. It's all heck is going to be let loose. Yeah, they're all going to go in eight wide into that first turn. It's going to be interesting who comes out in the top spot. Here we go with the gate start. Let's see who's able to get that. Watch the gate. The gate's down. It looks like Connor feels doing good. He's got Sam Willoughby, Kalen Young's out there. Let's see how things weed themselves out. Connor Fields gets over that first jump. That's where you want to be. Kalen Young, impressive in the second place spot. And then you get Sam Willoughby and Brian Kirkham in the fourth place. Yeah, Kalen Young shot out of that lane eight, came straight over knowing that he needed to do it. But out front all day long, it's been Connor Fields from the USA going to that last turn, confident as ever. And he's going to ride himself into the final. There you go. There is your main event. Half of it, Willoughby, Fields, Young, and Kirkham. That's three Aussies, one American, and just an awesome group of guys to go into that main event. You can see some of those other guys aren't too excited with their result, but unfortunately, like we said, that's how BMX goes sometimes. But it's going to be Connor Fields with that incredible horsepower, laying it down in lane one. Sam Willoughby next to him, and you just see his power got into there. He took the line he wanted in the first turn. He wanted to go through it the fastest, and that might have shut Sam down a little bit, gave Kalen the, the chance to get through there. But as you see through here, those guys weeded themselves away, far enough away from the rest of the riders where they didn't have to worry. Sam and Kalen are teammates of country, country mates, so they are going to ride clean as possible. Kirk comes in there, and he's just going for it. Fourth place is the spot that you need. And unfortunately for those rest of those guys, Van Vries and Mike Day, Viade and Pizarro. The end day is done, but incredible for Kirkham, Young, Willoughby, and Fields. Brian Kirkham, one of those fast guys who didn't make it out of the motos in Chula Vista because of a crash in the third round, so he's happy to put his bike back into the main event. And here we go, the last semifinal. I feel it for these guys. It's incredible. Liam Phillips, Joris Doday, Morton Thurston Skill, Aquindo, Tori Nyhawk, Roger Rinderneck, David Herman, and Quentin Clarion. This is going to be another stacked one. I mean, there's no more easy motos anymore in, in uh, Supercross racing. And you can see here the Frenchman, Quentin Calderon, right beside him, David Herman. Next, up, Next to him is going to be Roger Rinderneck, who splits his time between BMX and mountain bikes. He's one of the fastest guys out there from Switzerland. Well, Canada, Next to him, Nero. the fastest guy to come from Canada ever, in my opinion, Tori Nyhog. Here we go. One of the fastest Zabala Colombians. Out of Carlos, Colombia. Reno, Aquindo, Zalaba. A lot of names. A lot of, a lot of power. Oh, Beside him is the Danish Trentinson. Trenton. Next to him, the world champion Red Bull supported Jonas world Jonas champion Joris Dode. And this is Brandon Meadows, past oh X Games medalist and Supercross Chris. participants pick for the win today. Liam Phillips from the Great Britain. Let's see if Brandon's right. And I know Liam has made a main, placed third. Let's see if he's able to get back into the main for the second time. But there, like you said, four guys will go in. He's got a good gate pick. He's had incredible starts, but he's got one of the fastest riders okay, in the world I next to him. And we'll see how it goes when the gate drops for semi number two. Watch the gate. The gate down. It looks like Liam got out good, but so did Joris. So those two are switching out, and it looks like Tori Nyhag's out there. But Herman's on the outside. We'll see how things go through this turn right there. Herman gets shut down a little bit, but it's going to be Phillips out in the lead. Nyhag in second, and then that third place spot's going to be a battle between Aquindo and Dode.
Yeah, coming into the third straightaway, Lee Phillips, Tori and I hog, and then you have the Colombian and also the Frenchman of Vincent Pelliward in that fourth place position, but not far behind him is number 80 of David Herman. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be a little bit too late for Herman as Phillips, Nyhawk, Oquindo, and Clarion all make it out. That's kind of an upset for Herman not to make his way through, but unfortunately that's how it goes sometimes. And there it is, there's the rest of the guys in the main event, that is pretty crazy. Phillips, Nyhawk, Aquendo, and Clarion, Herman just misses out, but you just see right there, I mean, Joris Doday, again, has some troubles, goes over that turn, and he doesn't look too excited about checking out that pizza, pizza, Actually, yeah. pizza promotion, <laughs> and he's checking out the top of the berm. I know he doesn't want to do that, but unfortunately that's where it's going to go. So two big names, Joris Doday and David Herman go out in that semifinal, but big names, Phillips, Nyhawk, Aquindo, Clarion, those guys all move on to the main. It's going to be an incredible race.